what's up welcome to your reading i'm back with another reading this is going to be for leo sun moon rising and venus okay. <clears throat> all right leo overall i do feel that this person here is kind of holding back right now okay so there is no communication from this person's side they're closed off that's a closed book out here this person here does not want to talk they're not opening their mouth they do either want clarity Okay, they want a breakthrough in communication with you. This person here does want to talk to you. They want to be very straightforward and blunt here. Um, but it's like they have clarity here. Okay, I do feel for a few of you, this person does have clarity about what's going on in the situation, what they really need to do, what they really want. But um, again, it's more like I don't trust you. This person could be very afraid, you know, very afraid of something here. Because again, they, I'm getting here that they know what they want. They know probably you're the right direction here. Because with the Wheel of Fortune here, in their feelings here, there is a change in their feelings. There's a significant shift in their feelings here. So earlier, if they weren't sure about you, now they're sure about you. But whatever surety that they have, right, is kind of creating even more confusion here. Now, this is telling me that with the Five of Wands, here, either there are too many people between you both here, A, you know, too many uh, too much of nuisance either too many people involved in your connection here uh, too many people's opinions or there's like there's a lot of external conflict you guys are not on the same page you want something else they want something else uh, or internally i think i i'm getting more like internally they're very conflicted i i don't feel that this could be a lot of outside people could be for a few of you Whatever, external or internal conflict out here. But that conflict is stopping them from coming towards you. They're still being a closed book. They're still not ready to be open. They're still not ready to lay all the cards on the table here. So if you're dealing with someone here who's just not talking, who's not opening up, that's because they have clarity. And uh, now they know what they want. It's like they're moving towards a positive direction when it comes to you. But there's still confusion. There's still confusion. What's the five of wands? Mm. so uh the, the confusion is there right probably because which is why they're not moving forward okay so whatever confusion is there i think this person could not be ready to commit a or this person out here is just like they, they, there's a lot of planning going on in their head here okay they still need some more time before they can make that move forward here probably they're sure about you but they're not making that move forward again like i said conflicted in their head confused <clears throat> wow this person here is addicted. They're very obsessed with you. They have a very strong codependency factor on you. Now, in their intentions here with the sun here, this person clearly wants to say things very, very like they want to keep it all open here. Okay, they don't want and they don't want nothing in wraps. Um, <coughs> I told you right with the Ace of Swords here. This person here does have clarity, so they know that they need to make things very, very clear, crystal clear in front of you, like black and white. All right. Like what, what they want or what's really going on. So they want that breakthrough in that communication with you. They want to break the ice with you. And uh, with the sun here, this person wants to, uh, they see you as their happily ever after, okay? But because this is their intention, their intention is to have open communication with you. Uh, they're very optimistic all of a sudden here, okay? They want to, that's a lot of joy and happiness, okay? So you probably are their happily ever after here. But I do feel that they want to reveal some truth. There could be some truth that they want to reveal in their intentions here, or there could have been something which was uh, still not out in the open and that they weren't sure, and now they're pretty sure and they want to open up to you here. With the devil here, uh, maybe uh, they want to tell you that they were stuck and tied and restricted to something or someone here, or there could be some kind of codependency fear which was stopping them from coming towards you completely here, okay? But it is in their intentions where uh, they do feel obsessed and addicted to you, like I said, okay? For a few of you, there could be a third person or a third party situation which is stopping this person from coming towards you now the devil does not always have to be a third person that they're romantically involved with it could just be a, a parent it could be a thought pattern it could be drugs it could be addictions it could be some kind of vices or negative patterns or habits that are stopping them from coming towards you okay it could be fear could be work for a lot of you but with the queen of cups here in their intentions this person here for a few of you if you have given an offer to this person okay or if you've tried to propose this person uh, that this person is very deeply attached to you and they're very emotionally intuitively trying to analyze that offer okay they're not taking any action yet but yes they are thinking about what they want to do with you do they want to accept your offer or not accept your offer but in their feelings if not 
then this person is emotionally very very attached to you they have a lot of deep love for you but uh, they're too scared to be open they're, they're too scared to open up because they get hurt right so this person does not want to get hurt but for a few of you this person could be hurt in the past which is why this person wants to be 10 times careful okay so it's like once a bit and twice shy is what i'm getting here but yes overall in their intentions here they do want a reconciliation with you okay if you guys haven't met this person wants to meet you if you guys have broken up this person wants to reconcile with you if you're with this person here this person wants to have good memories with you again they want to chill they want to relax they want to get out whatever all right This person wants to marry you, Leo. <laughs> they want to marry you. Um, <clears throat> this person here, like I said, the planning is done. They know what they want. Planning as in more like, I'm not saying like a plan plan. I feel this person here uh, is more like I've made up my mind. That's what I'm getting here. This person's made up their mind. They're pretty sure about what they want with you. But they're not making a move forward yet. With the world here, this person sees you as their world okay you you make them complete you make them feel complete here and they want to take things to the next level with you they feel complete with you they they, they if, if you guys are not talking if you guys have separated this person you wants to grow with you and they want to move on to the next phase okay so if you guys are friends they want to date you if you guys are dating they want to make it an exclusive relationship or something like that or if you're dating and then this person wants to commit to you, whatever. It's all taking it to the next level. That's a beautiful card to get in a relationship outcome, all right? But yeah, that's what they want here. Why I'm saying that is because with the Hierophant here, this person here is probably... Now, for a few of you, okay? If you're not married to this person, this person wants to get married to you. For the others of you, if you're not married to this person, then this person is already married or you are already married. And that could be one of the biggest problems out here, okay? That someone's already married here. But for most of you, I'm getting that this person wants to take things to the next level and they're thinking of committing to you, thinking of trying to make something more traditional or give you something more traditional, like a traditional commitment, you know? They're getting more focused towards marriage or something like that here. But overall, I do feel that this person here is very wishy-washy, okay, for the moon here. Because this person does want this new beginning with you if you guys aren't talking. But with the moon here, this person is very indecisive, you know. Um, not in a way where they have two parts, but in a way where there's more doubt. Like, is this even going to fucking work out? Like, um... Uh, I'm getting out of you of you that this person here could be, you know, someone whose past experiences are absolutely sabotaging the connection right now. All right. So it's like uh, in the past, they could have made a mistake and now they have the same situation coming back towards with you. And now they're just not sure. Like I already did that in the past. You know how it feels sometimes, you know, you, you, you fuck up with uh, someone who is not right for you. And then when the wrong person comes in, right, you push that away. Why? Because that experience is still there. Now, this is what happens when you don't heal. Okay, so when you don't heal in a situation here, you tend to bring that regret over and over again in the future, which is why you screw up the potential. Okay, if they would have healed, if they would have forgiven what happened in the past year, this is just for a few of you. If they would have forgiven what happened in the past, they would have come towards you with a fresh perspective. Okay, or to anyone in that, as a matter of fact. But because they feel something was a regret and not a lesson learned, so now they're coming back towards you, wanting this with you, but they're still like, nah. I don't know, you know, so there's like this foggy energy out here, okay? Everything's up up in the air. It's all in the dark here. Uh, there could be a lot of illusions also, you know? This person could be uh, assuming the worst that could happen between you both. So I feel that you're dealing with someone who's a very negative thinker, okay? Fear, stress, and uh, because they're so indecisive, right? Because of fear of the unknown here, it's, 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 it's leading to indecision here, okay? Maybe this person feels there's a lot that is hidden in this situation here that they don't know about. Or it's just plain fear of the unknown, you know, like, I don't know what's going to happen. All that I want to marry Leo, all that I want to take things to the next level here. For some of you, this is a long distance relationship, all right? But, um, yeah, but it's all like, I want an agenda about what's going to happen in the future. Okay. So, yeah, but they probably feel there's more to it that they don't know about, okay? And everything's like, uh, there's a lot of mental confusion here, okay? So for some of you, they probably feel something's very dangerous out here, okay? Which is why they're being very doubtful, okay? So yeah, I don't think there is much uh, movement, okay, uh, for you guys, but they're definitely thinking about wanting to marry you. They definitely have it on their mind here. It's their own fears that's stopping them, okay? So they're coming in their own way. You can't really do much about that.
Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. Hope this reading resonates and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.